reason a person would turn to a chaplain is because they need an honest conversation and they need someone safe to talk to. This new diagnosis such as cancer that I have to live with often comes with that fear factor. What next? Why now? Why me? And you don't want to frighten your family. You don't necessarily want to talk to the doctors. You need someone you can trust, and oftentimes that is the chaplain. What the chaplain does is take the mind, body, and spirit and looks at the cultural background of the patient and help them get through the medical care plan by simply being present in the moment. It's very important that they know that I am with them. So it's empathetic listening that the chaplain provides the patient. In the United States now, most people believe in a higher power. It is my job to find out what that higher power it is and does that bump up against the medical care plan. Most hospitals have a chaplain, particularly for oncology. In order to be a hospital chaplain, a healthcare chaplain, you have to have a Master's of Divinity, you have to have clinical pastoral education at a teaching hospital, you have to go through a residency, you have to work 2,000 hours as a chaplain before you can be considered a healthcare chaplain. And most importantly, chaplains um, do a spiritual care plan just like the medical team does. The ultimate goal of the chaplain is to help the person find their center, to be calm enough to have faith and belief that they can get through this and reconfigure hope, and simply figure out what that hope looks like. Not long term, because life changes, but today, how can I reconfigure hope living in this moment? Now that could be prayer, okay? it could be coloring, it could be reading therapy. It could be music therapy. We might just need to walk the hall and talk about things. It all depends on the person. It's very personalized. It is very important that you have someone to journey with you, and oftentimes that is the chaplain.